for me personally, life is beautiful. We know we have bad things in, in life, in the world. But it's, it's our own task to make life beautiful. <laughs> If you think about the Northern Lights, they are known as nature's most beautiful color display. In fact, the most beautiful shape, the corona of Northern Lights, it may last for 20-30 seconds for the observer. It can cover the whole sky as if you would be a big TP-shaped building. It lasts for 20 seconds. It releases nature's most beautiful color display. And then it's gone. Now the question is, how do you enjoy the beauty of such things. Very simple. You must hunt for them. You must know that nature has something good to offer for you. As if our smile, our, our life, it's, it's an attitude which we, we can uh, find ourselves. If you can't find this, this um, time to hunt for nature's most beautiful color display, how can we find time to hunt for anything else beautiful in nature? Think about um, the beauty of wildlife. You know, there exist all over the world very, very beautiful things in the, in the wildlife, with the animals, with the flowers. It's there, it's just waiting for us to, to watch, admire and enjoy. Uh, in Finland, we don't call this phenomenon northern lights. We have an own word. We call it the fox's fire. And all the Finnish schoolboys and schoolgirls, they do know a story which is told as a fairy tale in whole Finland. Uh, they say that there's a fox in the north running in the snow, just like we have now the snow, snow cover. And the fox is sweeping the tail so that sparks fly off into the space to make the northern lights. In this version, the fox is again running on the snow, sweeping the tail, and now sparks fly off into the space to make the northern lights. That's just the, that was the original story. But this better version says that snowflakes fly up in the air and next moonlight is reflected from snowflakes to make the northern lights. It's a very clever fairy tale because the official theory made by French scientists 200 years ago was much simpler. In this theory we have the earth and the sun is shining to the pole just so that Icebergs are reflecting sunlight back to the clouds, which would be seen in nighttime. Everybody was happy, and this French theory was written down in Finnish school books in 1920s as the official explanation about northern lights. Totally wrong, and our story about the fox would have been better. Foxtail, snowflakes, moonlight, that would work. But sunlight in wintertime on icebergs beyond Arctic Circle. That doesn't work. Okay, light. Of course, light for us means life in general. If you simply ask, how can there be light? Our present physical understanding about the universe is that it all started from a very dense location of energy, which energy, what is that? That's, of course, light. It's electromagnetic radiation. It, um, if you think about energy as a concept, it's, it's the basic concept of our physical world. Energy can be converted to, to different forms, and one of them is light. You can in fact have light traveling in, in empty space and then be converted to matter as a physical principle. So in fact, we just simply think that in a sense everything started from light. We first had a lot of energy, then it turned to matter, and then we've got uh, our universe, which is not older than 15 million years. It's a, it's a very short time. We can't say really much what was before that time. All we can say is what we see, and we see light. We see stars, we see galaxies in the distant, far away edge of the universe. And we know it's, it's been there for 15 million years. And more we can't really say. Uh, the evidence which we see from, uh, from the birth of the light, it just shows, currently I think that uh, most of the scientists would agree that it shows to the evidence of having a Big Bang long time ago where everything got born.